up everybody you know, it's been a while i've been busy but now i'm back i mean i can't remember how to do my intro the part two of the video hopefully you guys seen part one so part one i was talking about my top five favorite hip-hop beats that i've done of course in that video as i said i left some stuff on the table i also only did completed songs and my specification on that was hip-hop I do stuff outside of hip hop music that I think a lot of it is honestly probably better. <laughs> it sometimes comes out on this channel, but I left that out because uh, I just wanted to focus on my favorite hip hop projects that I've done. With that being said, this is part two. Because you saw the first video, this one here, I was talking about top five worst beats that I feel like I've done that's come out of this channel. The purpose of me doing this video is that every single beat on here I left on YouTube. A lot of these are older from when I was first getting started on YouTube. When I was first getting started with using the LMMS software, I didn't really know what I was doing yet. I was kind of playing with it and experimenting. Now, 10 years later, that I got it under my fingers quite a, a lot better. Looking back on these beats, it's kind of fun and kind of entertaining for me nowadays. So to start off the list, number five. This is called Free Hip Hop or R&B Beat. You guys could go and look it up right now if you want to hear it. So this beat here, as far as why I think it's bad and why it's number five, about five lowlights. And honestly, it isn't that bad. It's just simply, I feel like the mix was really, really bad and that's what ruined it. Like it's not horrible. But it certainly could be mixed better and that would make it quite a lot better. Something else that's funny, a lot of times if you look at the comments for some of these earlier stuff that I was doing, people actually liked it back then. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that with the LMMS software, when I started using it at least, it wasn't like it is now. Like now there's other YouTube channels that have leapfrogged me in size to do tutorials and stuff and whatnot. So there's more people that are actually trying to use it to do serious like hip-hop music and not just beat boop noises but at, so at the time when i was doing these i was really the only person that was doing it so at the time i guess it sounded good but looking back on this this it's not that good number four this beat was called oh snap once again this is one that you guys can go and listen to right now if you want to it's So what was wrong with this one here to me, a few things were wrong with it. This is quite an older one. Things that I don't like about it. First off, the sounds on it, once again, using all the stock sounds, no extra samples or anything from elsewhere that sounded a little better or even cleaner. Then also the other thing is beat, it just sounds really, really empty. So I feel like if I were to remake this one today, the concept is okay, but I mean, it's, it's really dated. If you tried to do it now, I don't think I would. It's a little too video game-ish, but there's probably a rapper out there that would, that would be able to spit over that. Let's go to number three. This one is interesting to me, the hip hop beat trap style. So this one, this one is interesting to me because of the fact, if you look at the comments at the time, people were really impressed by this. And so was I. I was obviously really happy about it to put it up here as a demonstration. But it didn't age well. Once again, it's one of those things, because of what I know now, I know everything that's wrong with it. For one thing, the sounds on this one were not that great. And also too, once again, it's an issue where just kind of the structure of the instrumental, it wasn't that great. I feel like the um, structure of it, it was a little bit repetitive and it wasn't, I didn't really do much with it or use an interesting enough loop to begin with in order to make something that's going to have that short of a loop. At the time, nobody else was doing that with LMMS, so this was the first time people were like, oh snap, you can make it sound like that. That's not the stock sounds. 
So, you know, I didn't have the stock sounds anymore, but I didn't know what I was doing with it. So, so number two. This one is a fairly recent one. This one is three hype. This was only from 2018. That falls in the category of my more recent stuff. Now that I kind of had this under my fingers. This right here is newer. So it goes to show that just because you kind of, you learn the ins and outs of the software and you kind of have some nice sounds, doesn't mean you're always going to be able to put them together in a nice way. This one is not the worst I've ever done, but it's just, it's not good enough for me. Because I put it up because it's something I like to try to put something up. Even if I have a complete total creative slump, writer's block, I can't come up with any good music. I still will try to put up some sort of a demonstration just to make sure that people know I'm still here and still doing this. But with that one right there, guys, it's just an example. Like I said, it's okay if sometimes you get in a creative slump and stuff just doesn't sound good to you. Because that's when it just doesn't sound good to me. But I think it's wrong with it. I think it's just something that the concept to begin with, kind of like the melodies, the um, arrangement of it, it just didn't sound that great. So that one there, that's what's wrong with it. It's just something that's really mediocre sounding. So hold up, before we get to the main event, like I did with the other one, I'm gonna do some honorable mentions. I just got one honorable mention I'm gonna do this time. This, I brought it up as my number five favorite beat, but I'm gonna bring it up as an honorable mention for my worst beat too. The reason why is because once again, this goes back to what I said about a couple other ones here. If I were to do it now, I would do it a lot different. That beat from my boy 404 landed go get him. I would have done that differently now. Like I said, I like the beat, but it just started off way too slow in the sample that we did. It sounds kind of half, you know what? So I feel like if I were to do that now, and I owe him a better beat, because I have better beats I could give him now. He does it. He, I, I have to notice me sent by him, he begin to say something to me anymore. He doesn't want my beats anymore, but that's okay. He's on bigger and better things than me. But I owe him a better beat. And if you somehow see this, my guy, I owe you a better beat. I got your back. But on this one, what was wrong with it, it had to do with the that main sample that I used. I wasn't feeling with the main sample. I feel like what saved this beat and made it make my top five of my favorites though still was just that the arrangement of it was so good. Things peaked and valley during the song to go with what was going on lyrically in the song. And I think that sometimes a good arrangement can save a beat that sounds crappy or does it have a good sample to it. If I were to do it again, I would do it differently now. I would do like a sample and I would probably do different instruments all over. I wouldn't probably not do the strings. I would probably do something like electric piano now or something like that. You know what too? I still got the stems. I might remake that and post it on my channel and give all the credit to him for it. So now let's get to number one. ATL Crunk Style. <laughs> Yeah, this one is garbage. This one, this one is very early in the channel's history here. Even back then though, I had some better beats. But just real quick here, before I roast myself too hard, I'm gonna give you guys an example of something that was from earlier on that I think was better. You go listen to the beat drop freestyle. It's gone. All right, do let the beat go. Let the beat go. Yo, that right there is the beat I did when I was first learning how to use LMMS with all the stock sounds that I thought was actually really good. It's a good concept, good chord progression. The mix wasn't too bad. We recorded the vocals, we were recording it on a rock band mic and keep it real with you, so the vocal recording quality wasn't that great. I thought that was still a pretty good tune. So it goes to show that sometimes you can even still crack a good one if you have a good idea and you execute it well and put some effort into it. But with this one, the ATL crunk style beat, it just did it. You know what this one sounds like? Tell like all the people that you see that try to do rap music right now that you listen to on YouTube, where it's obvious they've heard like one or two rap songs on the radio ever, and then they try to make a song themselves. That's what this one sounds like. It sounds like I heard like one or two Gucci Mane songs, and then I had to try to make a beat that sounded like it. 
problems with this one. First off, the piano sound, me repeating the same note over and over and over again like that, that just got straight up annoying. Sounds didn't sound great. The arrangement on this one, it honestly wasn't too terrible. The arrangement and the concept was actually okay. If I were to remake this one now, I think I could remake the same beat, add a couple of things to modernize it a little bit, make it a little bit more ambient. You know, go with how speech sound nowadays. But this one here, as it stands, this is easily my worst and my least favorite I've ever uploaded. I did in the past attempt to redo some of my old beats. Let me know for however many people bother to watch this one and make it this far in if you'd like to see that. If you'd like to see me go back to these top five worst beats and redo them just for fun and do a tutorial and show you guys the difference between how I did it then as opposed to how I would do it now to make it better. See you guys in the next one. More tutorials coming soon. Next tutorial is actually going to be how to make your beat sound better. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to peace out on this one. See you guys later. Make sure you go check out my other channel for that new album when it drops so you can see me put my money where my mouth is, guys. Hey, I love you. Bye-bye.